Okay, folks. So we're going to set up our screen and uh, capture codex to do recordings using Cam Studio. And the first thing you need to do is set up your screen. And right click on the desktop and you go to properties and you bring up display properties. On the settings tab, and you want to go to 800 by 600 medium bit, 16 bit and on the advanced tab go to troubleshoot and you put hardware acceleration at none and that should set up your screen will now change size and everything but I've already done it so mine's ok ok now that's set up we need to set up Camp Studio and the options that we have here, video options, I'm using the Microsoft Video 1 and keyframe set at 150, 66, 15 these were the settings given to me by Dimitri from the MSU Screen Capture Losses Kodak, he's a professor up there or one of the big top guys but we're going to do our basic recording using the Microsoft Video 1 doing these settings so we click OK right, so that's the basic setup for Cam Studio so I'm going to stop this now and in the next step we'll be using Virtual Dub to do all our compression ok, so we finished the um, set the Camtasia file let's have a look at the size of it it's a hundred and ninety five megabyte. Okay, we'll send this now to Virtual Dub and see if we can get it down using um, the video settings for the MSU codec. Dimitri reckons you should be using force keyframes and every hundred and fifty. And we want the audio now full processing and the compression we're going to use is MPEG layer 3, 24 and 22 hertz mono and we are saving the AVI as virtual dub share mp3 Oops. Virtual dub not cub. Right, and we'll just put on pause so we come to the right time. Okay. So let's have a little look. See what the size is. And we've managed to get it down to two point six four megabyte from 195 not bad, not bad at all okie doke 